as you breathe in. Breathe out. Allow the breath to flow naturally. Without trying to change anything, force anything. Just making sure you start with a smile towards yourself. Always with a and it's okay attitude. It's okay attitude. I'll be fine attitude. This is the best thing that could happen, attitude. Why? Because you are having this valuable moment with yourself to reconnect, to settle and establish yourself in the truth that is this moment. So please soften into this moment. As you breathe in, breathe out. Relinquishing. All the pain, all the mental strife and tension we carry. Just letting them fall away like the wake of a ship cutting across the ocean. Let it fade away into the distance. Inhabit the present moment. With each breath you take in, with each breath you let go. You're trusting the present. But we do so with responsibility. We do so with trust. We do so with sati with mindfulness. Please don't forget your smile. A genuine smile is your confirmation that you are okay. That you're gonna be okay.
That is, after all, how safety begins in the heart, which is the domain of the Dhamma. If there's too much noise in the heart, too much going on in the heart, worries, concerns, lust, passion, greed, hatred, it's hard to see the Dhamma there in that state. So we need to allow the mud to settle. And trust goes a long way in doing that. Dhamma is safety. So as you're settling in, the heart that is becoming less and less agitated, more and more quiet, stable and collected, Give yourself a drop of metta there. Let the fragrance of metta permeate, infusing the heart with loving kindness that spreads towards you throughout your body. throughout your mind. As you maintain sati, mindfulness, and if any hindrances, distractions, thoughts, worries, feelings come up, remember that smile telling you it's okay, it's okay. Stay here with the body. It tells you everything you need to know. It keeps you in the present. And smile a little bit more. And allow the fragrance of metta to spread even further even further into the sixth direction. 